Hello, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Bobson, and we are here for another week of True Directions, where we are always pointing your compass towards God. In this episode, Daniel will learn new ways to hear from God through Scripture. smelly hobo! Ugh. Has the Lord finally convicted you in dream that you were to become a Christian? No, but I'll go check. No, no. Aww. He hasn't. That's so disappointing. Happy, I want you to know that even though you are an atheist, I love you in Christ, and you're the best uh, non-Christian imaginary friend a boy could have. Well, I hate you in sleep. Good morning, son! Oh, Mom, you're sitting on Happy! Oh, goodness. I'm just kidding. He disappears when parents come around. Oh, you're so funny, Daniel. <laughs> Are you ready for another day of soul winning? I guess. It can just be so hard sometimes being persecuted. Oh, I know, son. I know. Oh, well, keep the faith, son. Mm. You know, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That's so true, Dad. I'm so blessed to have such great parents like you. Oh. Holy Father, give me the strength to face this day in public school. John Davis. Daniel David Christensen. Present. Cesar Romero. Here. Bart Brown. I think he's asleep. Don't, don't you think you ought to wake him up? Are you kidding? This is public school. Do you think I care about you? Now remember, I want a five-page paper on why God doesn't exist and why he doesn't love you on Thursday. Thursday. Class dismissed. I don't want to hear it, Mr. Christensen. Lumber Christian soldiers marching. Hey, back Christensen! To the oh! Hi, Caesar! How are you? You know that paper? Yes. Well, I want it by Thursday. Well, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Hey, yeah, that's why he gave me those muscles to wail on you afterwards if I don't get that paper. What are you talking about? Certainly you're not talking about academic dishonesty. Hey, call it whatever you want. Just give me the paper. What a delicious dinner, honey. Why, thank you, husband. Would you like a beverage? Hmm, I think I'll have some grape juice. Son, you seem awfully down. You barely touched your mother's delicious casserole. Did something happen at school today? Oh. Oh no, school was fine. School was fine. You know, you can always come to us, son. We understand it can be trying when you're at public school with all those lost souls. Well, well, there was this, this one situation. I mean, I just, I just don't know what to do. I, I, I'll figure it out, I guess. I just, I don't know where to turn to for help. It, it's, it's not something that, that parents, I guess, would understand. Do you have any advice? Daniel, you know that God's word is always a very present help in times of need. Always remember Psalm 119, 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Does that help, son? Oh, um, I think so. I, I think, I think I'm gonna go play with Happy. May I be excused? Of course, son. Go have fun with your imaginary friend. Thanks. And thanks for the verse, Mom. I'm sure it'll be real helpful. <laughs> Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It's a good Bible verse. All Bible verses are. But how does it help me? How, how does it help me find an answer to my situation? Parents can be so cryptic sometimes. Maybe my heavenly father can help. Oh, God! God, are you there? What? God, is that you? God? God oh, I... Happy! You're not God! Oh, yeah, 
got me. How many times do I have to tell you that pretending to be God is blasphemy and will get you put in hell? Uh, well, this is just a shirt I put on my head to give myself the illusion of glamour. <sighs> There's more to it than that, Happy. There's more to everything when God's involved. I wouldn't know. It's like a shirt on my head. <laughs> Maybe you can help me. I'm so desperate, I'll even ask an atheist. <laughs> That's me, all right. I'm trying to... My parents gave me this verse, and I'm trying to figure out how it applies to my situation. But I just don't know what to do. Can you help me figure out the Bible? Uh, I'll try, but I like them Bibles. It says, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Hmm. Well, in this situation, what is Caesar's is the paper, yeah. right? He's asking me for the paper. Basically. So what the Bible is saying is that I should give to Caesar what is Caesar's, which is the paper. So the Bible says that I should give him the paper. Then you should give him the paper, I Great. guess. Great! Maybe. Oh, the Bible is surely a present help in times of trouble. Amen. Say amen, Happy. Shalom. We are not Jews, Happy. Say amen. Shalom. Happy. You disappoint me sometimes. Amen. Onward, Christian soldiers, my hey, Christian has to... Oh! Caesar, do you ever experience deja vu? Deja what? It's it's where you relive something. Oh, no, no, forget about it. Where's the paper? Right here. What is this? It's it's a folder. It'll help you get presentation hey, points. Hey, this is A-plus work. You trying to make it obvious I'm cheap? Oh, no, that, that's not the intention at all, Caesar. I just... I thought you would want the best product possible. Hey, whatever, it's good enough. Oh, 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 the Lord has protected me this day. Hallelujah. Oh. Another delicious casserole. Mm -hmm. Son, I've noticed you've had a lot more zep in your step. Did you get that issue resolved at school you were telling us about? Oh yes, God took care of everything. Praise the Lord. You know what? I think we should all join hands and sing the doxology. Oh, what a good idea, wonderful Mother. Idea. Praise, Praise God, God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above. story. Daniel really did learn that God's word is ineffable, irrevocable, and perpetually applicable to every situation. And don't forget this week's Bible verse. Pablito, what is this week's Bible verse? This week's Bible verse is Psalm 119, 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. See you next week! Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to... Hey, Christian, sir! <laughs> oh.